What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Battletech bringing you a quick tutorial. A few days ago I showed off my XBMC Steam setup on my home theater system on my Alienware Alpha and I got a few requests showing how I had everything set up. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So sit back, relax, and we're going to get to it. All right, now we're back. First thing we want to do is go ahead, open up a web browser, and we're going to go to Cody.tv. And once that page is up, we're going to go ahead and click the gray download button, which you see right here. Once you click, it's going to bring you over to the uh, platforms page. And from here, you're going to select your platform. And in this case, it's going to be Windows. Um, same steps apply for all platforms. Um, but again, we're just doing this um, we're just going to simply open it up and we're just going to install it. This is the, you know, straightforward part right here. Any any idiot could follow these instructions. Um so yeah, like I said, I'm just going to leave it at my defaults. Um you can change the install location if you want blah 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 next 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 all right let's see how fast we can get this installed and so we can move on to the more involved and tedious part of this setup which is going to be setting up tv tunes we're going to rename um, our file structure for our downloaded tv shows so that tv tunes can see them and pick up the um the tv show themes all right, so now that we got Cody downloaded and installed, um, first thing, um, well, not first thing, but one of the things I want to do, um, and I have the links for these things down low, um, T-Dubs repository. You could either get it from the um, add-on wiki, um, or you can get it from my link. Um, either way, um, it points to the same place. Um, you need this file. Um, to um, install Steam inside of Kodi. Um, and to do that, um, download the uh, repository, the zip file. Once you have it downloaded, um, I don't know why I'm in programs. Let's go back. Uh, we'll go over to systems. And then we're going down to add on. And then go down to install from zip. I'll give you one guess of what you got to do point to the location where you just uh, downloaded that uh, zip file yeah we're going to go ahead and do that um, but if I can just stop being an idiot for a minute it's on this other drive here here we go downloads and t-dub click that boom you see down the lower right down here it says it's enabled alright so now with it enabled you go back one page go to add-ons go to get add-ons and we are going to scroll down to tdub we're going to go to programs and boom that's easy to find able all right now one thing to note if you have your steam installed in a different location other than the default you might want to go in here right click or press C if you're a keyboard only user and go to add on settings and you know everything here is pretty straightforward just enter the install location for Kodi and the install location for Steam there are a few more options in here I'm not really going to get into but uh, yeah you can play around with those um, and once you have that set you just click it and boom you got Steam up and running no problem look at that that's beautiful let's exit let's make sure it uh jumps all right there we go we got that part set up all right so the first part of this setup is done when we come back we're going to set up tv tunes and a couple tv shows as well as getting titan media browser set up okay now the next thing we want to set up 
Uh, we're going to set up TV tunes and we're going to set up the file and folder structure um, that you need to have on your computer in order to get TV tunes working properly. Um, so let's go ahead and navigate over to programs and then we want to select get more. Uh, this is going to be as simple as scrolling down to the T's and selecting TV tunes. Install. And then that's it. We're good to go there. Next step needs to be handled in, uh, in the folder where you keep all of your TV shows. Um, so for me, for the sake of the tutorial, I got a bunch of stuff that's just thrown in a folder. Um, we're simply going to create a couple folders. Uh, Horror story. Then we got, let's see, uh, got Gotham. Let's see what else we have out here. We got um, Arrow. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Walking Dead. Okay, I already got that folder. Okay, so no. Um, okay, I know what we can use this one for. Big Bang. All right, let's see. Let's uh, go ahead and dump some of these bad boys in their folders. Walking Dead, Gotham. All right, let's see. Did I? Yeah, I got arrow. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, didn't realize I had so many arrow episodes. Right. Okay, I forgot about Brooklyn Nine and uh, the Flash. All right, one interesting thing about the Flash and other shows that have um, like remakes. Like the Flash was a TV show back in the day, so if you just leave it as the Flash and you scan the folder, it's gonna come up with. Um, uh, the rest of them I don't need. We'll just oh, wait a minute. I forgot about these episodes. Let's see. Let's go ahead through the Flash. Where did that folder go? Oh crap, here we go. Uh, Black Dynamite, let's go throw those in the folder. Uh, Big Bang, let's throw that in there. And Brooklyn Nine-Nine and everything else we can just get rid of. All right, so we have all of the shows in their sub subfolders and most importantly, they have to be labeled S01E blah blah blah. So that's season one, episode seven. All right. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do to test out TV Tunes and get it set up, let's go to video files. And we're going to go to files and let's add videos. And let's browse to our video location which is going to be here and we're going to call that TV shows all right next they're going to ask you to set the content so this contains TV shows all right and hit OK and it's going to scan find all of the shows all right so now when we go to TV shows, already starting to look nice. All right. Now the 
last piece to the TV shows is TV Tunes itself. Go on to TV Tunes, select TV shows. It's going to find everything that you have in your library, and then you just go down a list. Hit enter. All right, let's uh, find one we can use for American Horror Story. Okay, don't hear anything, so we go to the next one. Let's uh let's do freak show. Okay, like that one. So move on to the next one. Arrow. Uh let's see. Okay, that one was a fail. Let's try this one. Okay, we can use that one. And you get you get the drift. Not all night. All right. Let me just go down the list. Do them all. Our whole So we got them all done, so you can come all the way back, go to TV shows. Now when you go to your TV shows, you should have music. Ah, I know what's wrong. We don't have TV tunes enabled on this skin. So you have to go in the settings, go to skin, go to skin settings, and let's go to general. All right. And there it is. Under TV shows, make sure that this is enabled or it will not work. No matter what skin you choose, you always have to turn TV tunes on. Okay, so now that that's enabled, now if we go to TV shows now, let's go Walking Dead. That's more like it. Let's see Flash. more like it. Our whole universe was in a hot dance. Okay, and uh, for the most part, yeah, that is the setup right there. Um, aside from the skin that I was using, which is, uh, okay, I did that too fast. Um, the skin I was using um, is called Titan Media Browser, and you get that just like you get any other skin. Go to settings, skin, and then go over to get more. And there's the Titan Media Browser. Boom. This is typically gonna take a little bit. I can back out of that while it's going. It'll let me know once it's done. Um, while that's going, um, I'll show you the final step. If you're gonna be using this on a home theater um, PC or some type of PC that's hooked up to your TV, um, and you want this um, to launch with Windows, um, then what you want to do is uh, simply go to run and type shell uh, colon startup and uh, it's going to bring you to a blank screen alright then once you have the startup shell open go ahead and drop in the Kodi shortcut from your desktop or if you haven't created one go ahead and create a shortcut for Kodi and drop it inside of the startup shell. If I can find mine, I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna create one. Cody, right click, create shortcut. It's gonna send it to the desktop. Go there, grab it, drop it, and you're done. So now when you boot Windows, it would automatically go into Cody. And Titan Media Browser is done. Um, and like I said before, when
whenever you switch your skin, make sure you go into the skin settings and enable TV tunes or you will not hear the TV tunes. Alright, let's uh, just go ahead and verify it works. So the last thing we want to do now, since we are in the Titan Media Browser, is to simply add Steam to one of these tiles. And you do that simply by going into Settings, go Skin, Home Screen Tiles, go to Add, and then give it a second, go down to Add-on, Program, Steam. And that's it. And let's move it up in the list. Edit. And there you have it. Yeah, so that's uh that's pretty much it. Um I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and hope you're able to follow along with this pretty easy. Um, you know, as always, I really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Um, you know, please jam that like button and subscribe to me and uh leave me some comments and I'll get back to you. I'll let you guys on the next one. Peace.